Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, let's discuss about the blanket orders which are provided by the purchase module of Odoo 70. So this blanket order is basically one type of purchase agreement. Blanket orders are long-term purchase contracts that specify how often and in what price a vendor will deliver goods to a business. When these products are consistently bought from the same vendor in various quantities at various times, Blanket orders can be helpful. So, this blanket order saves time and money by streamlining the ordering process. This is because they can be used in negotiating bulk pricing with the vendors. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video and see how it's done. So, let's see how the blanket order works. So, for that, let's open the purchase module. And first thing which you should do is go to configuration settings and make sure that purchase agreement is enabled so as you can see it's enabled and now if you take a look at orders you can see blanket orders i'm opening that so blanket order is basically uh, you know giving or creating rfqs of the same product in different quantities to the same vendor okay no, not same product it can be different products as well but the thing is that we are sending the uh, rfq to the same vendor okay so I'm going to create a new blanket order. So here you have the purchase representative. You can change the person or by default, a person will be there. And here you can see the agreement type as blanket order. Let me go to the internal link of blanket order. And here you can see the agreement type is blanket order. You have the agreement selection type, which is select only one RFQ as well as select multiple RFQ. So here in this case, what you have to do is select multiple RFQ. That's what blanket order means. Now, this will come when the agreement type is call for tender. So, in case of call for tender, if you are generating three RFQs, means if one is uh, confirmed to a purchase order, means the other two get, will get automatically cancelled. But here you can, you know, once you uh, select one, the other one will also be there still active. Okay. So, that's what we need, which is to select multiple RFQ. Okay. And then you have data for new quotations. So, we'll take the order lines where you can use line of agreement or even you can, you know, create lines automatically. That is, you can manually type the lines. Whatever it is, you can choose it from here. So, I'm choosing use lines of agreement. Okay. Now, here you have the quantities. That is, you can use the quantities of agreement or even set quantities manually. Okay. So, that's done. Now, let's go back to the blanket order. And let me choose a vendor. Let it be Abigail Peterson. And you have the agreement deadline. So I'm choosing a day as the agreement deadline. Then you have the ordering date, the delivery date, the source document as well as the company. Okay. Now I'm going to add a product. So let the product be customizable desk. And the quantity here I'm giving it as 20. Okay. And the unit price I'm giving it as 100. Now I'm going to confirm it. Now I've created a blanket order. Okay. Now here you can see new quotation. That is you can create a new quotation for this. So what happens while you create a new quotation? The vendor has come automatically as well as the order lines has come automatically. You can see the order deadline as well as the expected arrival has come. Now what you have to do is you can set the quantity. So you've given as setting the quantities manually, right? So I'm setting the quantity as 10. Okay. And then I'm going to save it. Go back to the blanket order. I'll create one more quotation for the same product. Giving different quantity which is 5. Saving it. Okay. Going back to the blanket order. Now here you can see a smart tab which shows the count as 2. So currently we have created 2 RFQs corresponding to this blanket order. If you just open it you can see both for the same vendor. Okay. And the total and all can be seen. So I'll open one and I'm going to confirm this order and you can see it has become a sale order. So you can simply receive products and continue the process. So I'm validating it and that process is completed. Okay. So if you just take a look here, you can see this has become purchase order. The status of this is still RFQ. You can open it as well as confirm it and receive product even validated. Okay. So, in case of a blanket order, how many RFQs you create, no matter what, well, whether you confirm or not, all the others still remains the same. That is, currently I've created new two blanket orders. One I've confirmed to purchase order, other one was still in RFQ state. 
while i went inside that purchase order and confirmed it it has also become a purchase order so how many you create you can confirm every purchase order no matter what and when you are creating or when the agreement type is a call for tender what happens is that once you confirm one the others become inactive so that's how you create a blanket order and that's what a blanket order means i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video